Once you mount the motor, this is how you want to check if it sits properly. It has to be completely in the middle and not lean one side or the other. Then you want to put the drum on top of it. This is, this is to check whether it sits properly. You put the drum on top of it. You put one spout. Pay attention to the notch and the groove when you put it. It's important that it sits, you know, that they match and it sits really tightly and nicely. Yeah, you put it, you put one spout. Then you make sure it sits properly on each side. Yeah, then you put another spout. And you check again whether the drum sits exactly in the middle. It's hard to see in the video, but it's leaning towards one side. It's spinning, but it's leaning towards one side. So what you want to do, you want to adjust it. You turn the wrench clockwise, about half turn or one turn, until you see that it sits exactly in the middle that it's not leaning towards right, left, anywhere. It's exactly any minute. And so you adjust it while you look, uh, you know, on the drum, how it sits there until you see that it's completely centered. Then you also want to pay attention to this part. It should be one millimeter from the last spout. I'll, I'll show it to you later. Then uh, you can put everything back. You know, you, you close the bottom, you put the white part. It has to click when you put it on. Then you put the drum, again, try to see how it spins. Then you again pay attention to the uh, notch and the groove when you put the spouts. You line up everything perfectly, but make sure it sits really tight and nice because, um, you know, the separator goes at a very high speed, so everything has to sit properly and tight. Uh, then you put another spout. It's hard to see, like I said on the video, but this is what I want you to look at. This little, this little part has to be about one millimeter from the last spout. If it sits too deep, you have to adjust again. And this is the proper sound.